So responding to Mbaka's statement, uh, Bianca Ojuku, the wife of the hero of Biafra land, the great Odinogo Ojuku, said something. She narrated her experience with Pitobi. He said when Pitobi was invited for a conference or something, a meeting in Texas, that he was taken to go buy a suit. And the suit he was he was taken to uh, he, he was he, he was taken to buy was um, a Tom Ford suit worth three thousand nine hundred dollars. And when Peter B saw, she said, when Peter B saw this amount, he said, "Do you know how many students in Nigeria that this money can pay their fees?" Oh my! Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! It will be, I'm in love with you. Oh my word. What a leader. <laughs> wow. See, <laughs> Nigeria, we don't deserve Pitobi. I'm telling you. He needs us. He, we need Pitobi more than he needs us. Let me continue my story. So, he refused buying the suits. And went ahead um, to get another suit worth two hundred and twenty dollars, right? And he wore it comfortably for the event. And <laughs> the interesting thing was, she said she was shocked that when they were seeing him off to the airport, he gave her the balance of the money. So meaning three uh, three hundred three thousand nine hundred. USD, all right, is minus the 20, 220 um, USD. So he gave her the balance on top. So meaning he gave her a balance of $3,680. And he said, use it for your foundation. Because it appears um, Bianca Ujuku has a foundation. So use it for your foundation to reach out to the less privileged and all man can you see a leader can you see a leader and he said he, she said he, he, meant, he said one thing that if that tom ford suit was p2b suit he would have bought it now what does that tell you meaning if that suit was manufactured or produced in nigeria he would have bought it knowing that that money is still coming back in Nigeria. If it was P2B suits, he would have bought it. But he, of course, he said he wondered if uh, any other person in Nigeria, any other person in America would want to buy that suit or want to buy anything that is made in Nigeria. We need, oh my God, oh my God. I'll post, I'll post the excerpts of that, um, of the, the write-up she made. I'll post it on my, on, 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 on the description of this video. Mbaka, if this is how stingy, if this is the way you fit of me stingy, we love him like that. We love a prudent man, a man that cares about the future of the country. A true leader. That's what we want. And we love him that way. Thank you very much. Insanity, they say, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. In simple words, when you do the same thing re re frequently or recurrently, you are definitely bound to get the same result. But if you need a different result, do something different. Mbaka, listen to me. We have been electing generous, quote and unquote, generous leaders. See where Nigeria is today. Allow us to try a stingy leader. We are not mad. We are no longer mad. We were mad before. That was why we kept doing the same thing repeatedly, expecting a different result. Today, we are not mad. We have recovered. We have regained our senses. We are awake. And we are ready to vote a stingy man for a change, for a difference. Yes, if Peter be stingy, let him be stingy. He is a prudent man. He is stingy because he has decided not to waste funds or money to enrich you. Show him a project, Gaj. 
I better go and sit down.